Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I want to show you a new way to incorporate URLs into your tables in Power BI. Previously, the only way to have a URL link in a table or matrix visual was to display the actual URL or show a URL symbol. But now you can add a link on top of any measure used in the values well of either visual. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So just to create some synchronicity between my videos, I'm going to use the report that I used in my last video, the one that actually lets you toggle between themes pretty quickly and easily. Just as a quick reminder, those new themes and everything are up here. And if you want a further explanation on kind of the usage of this report or some of those new themes as well, I'll link you to the video over here and you can go check out that video as well. But for this, I wanna focus on how to add a URL to a table like we have over here, in this case, a matrix table. Um, and instead of having to add a URL icon as a column, or actually have that um, as the, the full string of uh, text for that URL as well that you can click, I want to instead put that as a clickable link on top of my either my sales, my sales year over year, or my average sales amount. So that's now a conditional formatting option. If we actually come over here and click the dropdown, if you notice, if we go to conditional formatting, I have background color, font color, data bars, icons, and now fifth option for a web URL. So if I click that, it brings up the format by field value. So again, field value is something related to DAX where you can actually create a measure that can return um, colors to determine what color you want it to, to be. You can also have that return some dynamic URLs. In this case, I'll show you what my DAX is in a moment, but it's just a simple URL text string that will then allow any of these cells to be clicked. So like based on field, DAX measure, URL, and before I click OK, if you're a bit more interested about the field value type formatting, I do have a video that talks about at least how to apply colors as field value formatting, and I'll link you to that over here on the right. So go ahead and click OK. Notice now that every single one of these values is underlined, and you can see that even the link pops up here, www.havensconsulting.net. So that's just a basic URL string that I have over here. Um, even if I click the URL, you'll see that it's just simple string. Now there are ways to do more advanced type of DAX formatting in here where you can actually have some dynamic strings that's concatenation of say a SKU number and that takes you to a product page. But I just want a simple URL measure just so you can actually see that if I was to say click this, that will actually then open up a web page and then go with your browser to that site page of whatever that URL is. And I can do that on any measure now. So I can essentially add that as a layer of conditional formatting. And this is really useful for the fact that I now don't have to have a separate column with the URL. I can have as many measures as I want and then custom URLs on top of them. Um, notice that it does not work on the grand total uh, or the subtotals. So that's just like the same way that conditional formatting works with either the background colors or the KPIs or anything else. You will only get the URL link to show up on the lowest level visible. So if I actually rolled this up, now you can see that it's working at the subtotal level. And then if I roll it up again, you can see that it's working at the level for country. So it does change depending on what level is visible in the matrix table, just like all of the other um, conditional formatting uh, rules and logic that are applied to the other types of color-based ones. But that's about it. I just wanted to show you this really cool new way to apply URL formatting to values in those visuals well whenever you have something over here. And that can be used once, twice, or as many times as you want to. So I hope you found this video useful. If you liked the video, please click or smash that like button below. If you have anything to say about the video or have a comment for a future video, add that to the comment section. And if this is your first time to my channel or you wanna see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.